Hi divers, welcome back to another 2 minute Tuesday. Today let's talk about the amount of weight you need when diving in seawater coming up. A couple of weeks ago I made a video about how to determine the right amount of weights for your dives. I talked a lot about uh, what a balanced rig is and how you can achieve it. If you haven't checked out the video, feel free to do so, link above. I get many comments and emails and Facebook messages from you guys asking how you estimate how much weight to add in seawater if you already have the perfect amount of weights in freshwater and vice versa. Because of the salt content or salinity, seawater has a higher density than freshwater. And according to the Archimedes principle, anybody completely or partially submerged in a fluid, be it a gas or liquid, at rest is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force, the magnitude of which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. So that means if our weights are perfect in freshwater and we go diving in the sea, in that exact same configuration, because every liter of seawater weighs a little bit more compared to freshwater, we are a little bit more buoyant in seawater and hence need to add up a little bit of weight. If we switch from seawater to freshwater, we need to take off some weight. The question is, and what's basically the question you guys asked, the question is how much weight I need to add or remove and how can I calculate this? This is my approach to the question and please, if you have another approach to address this question, please let me know in the comments. To calculate this, you need to know two things. First, your own displacement of water. And frankly, that's a hard one to answer. You could measure it like Archimedes did uh, in the legend how he discovered his principle. Get into a bathtub full to the brim with your entire equipment catch the overflowing water and determine the volume. Since that's really hard to do, I just go with this calculation. I take my body weight as the displacement in liters and add up the volume of my tanks. In my case, I weigh around 90 kilo, so 90 liter plus, let's say, 24 liter for the double 12 liter tank, so roughly 140 liters as displacement. Sure, it depends on the suit and undergarment you use, on your body composition, so if you have a lot or only few body fat and some things like that. But for a rough estimate, this worked for me all the time. The second thing you need to know is the difference of the seawater density and the freshwater density in gram per liter. Sure. The density depends on the salinity and of course on the temperature of the water, but in order to avoid overcomplication here, let's just ignore temperature and salinity for now. If you now multiply the density difference with the displacement of the diver, you get the additional weight you need to add or take off from the diver, depending if you switch from seawater to freshwater or the other way around. To make everything as easy as possible, I usually use a tool called Wolfram Alpha for calculations like that. You can access it via a web browser, but they also have a great app for iOS and Android if you like to calculate such things on the go. So let's go to Wolfram Alpha, wolframalpha.com. And the great thing with Wolfram Alpha is that it is context-based, so I only punch in my desired calculation in natural language. Something like sea water density minus fresh water density uh, multiplied with, let's say, 140 liters. And I want the seawater density in gram per liter and the freshwater density in, in gram per liter. And uh, make sure to set the parenthesis because you want to multiply the difference with the displacement, you know, dot before dash and so on. So now hit compute input and that takes a short while. So 
So depending on the density of seawater, which ranges typically from 3% to 5% uh, salinity, uh, I need to add or, or remove between uh, around 2.5 to 4.3 kilograms of weight. So you could easily uh, look up the salinity of the water. You actually dive in and use that involved from Alpha to get a more precise result. So I would add up the calculated weight to my weight belt if I dive in seawater or remove it if I switch from seawater to freshwater. And of course, I would do a weight check as outlined in my video about the balanced rig to determine the exact amount of weight I need. Just that simple. Please feel free to ask any further questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. If you took any value from this video, leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, ring the bell and watch my other videos. See you there.